Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Okay, I just got home from work, um, but we're doing a full day of eating today. If you haven't guessed, um, just, you know, eats um, on a little, little cut for the summer, but I've been eating a little differently lately, so I thought I'd show you guys. But I just got home and I'm kind of in a rush. I have two job interviews today. One is on Zoom in about 45 minutes, so gotta fix this situation. And then the other one's at one on the phone. It was supposed to be at 11. I'm glad it got pushed back because I just got off work and it's 11.15. Um, but I just got a package in the mail. Um, thought I'd open it with you guys. It's for Sophie, my little sister. It is her birthday on Thursday. So by the time this goes up, she'll already have it. So it's not like a surprise, but I got her a little lemon belt bag like mine. She's going to college in the fall and I thought this would be a good thing to give her because she's not really like a purse carrier. Um, so I thought this would be fun to give her. So looks good to me. Um, all right, so I'm gonna have a quick snack and then start getting ready for my interviews. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. All right, so this is the snack I'm having. Uh, healthy homemade protein Snickers or Twix bars, I guess you could call it. Um, super yummy, super quick. Usually I have it after lunch, but we're in a, we're in a little pickle here. Then I'll have lunch at some point, hopefully. <laughs> Between, oh, there you guys go. Between interviews. But if you guys want the recipe to these, you guys keep sliding. If you guys want the recipe to these bars, um, I posted it in my Facebook group. I would love to have all of you in that. And yeah, I post a lot of my recipes and meals in there. Super fun time. So I'm going to eat this quick. Okay, so I'm just, I uh, just finished my hair. I'm just going to put a little makeup on just because this one is over Zoom. But I wanted to explain to you guys, I wanted to explain myself because I know we've talked a little bit about, you know, my plans for the future, what I'm going to do after graduation, all that fun stuff. And I have never once said I would be getting a job. So you, if you pay attention... <laughs> You may be confused. I have been working very hard <laughs> to make my personal training and my business as a fitness advisor through First Form my full-time job for a while now. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I've really been trying, um, trying to grow that into a full-time income. However, I have not yet reached that point. And, you know, I could sit here and feel sorry for myself and be really upset with myself for not reaching my goals. Um, but the reality of it is, is that I'm not done. I have so much time um, and I'm not giving up. I'm still growing and it's just a little bit slower than anticipated. But the, the magic of it is, is that you never know when it's going to click and when that momentum is going to start rolling and when it's just all of a sudden going to happen. Um, and I feel that coming. I've been consistently growing in both my personal training and my business as a fitness advisor through First Form. I've been growing in both of those areas consistently every month. Um, but it's just been, I just haven't been able to give my full effort because of school and obviously because of my job at Starbucks and I just haven't I haven't been able to hit that full-time income mark yet. The key word here is yet. Um, so I decided getting a job after college, something that I am passionate about, something that I love with a company that I feel is going to help me grow and learn is a, a good thing. So that's what I'm doing. Um, as you guys know, I'm really hoping to move out of Wisconsin, um, here soon. And so I've been applying to jobs in different states and just seeing what my options are. 
I also want to get a job because if I do move, I won't know anyone and that'll help me meet people and make connections and just kind of feel more of a sense of community. So I am planning on getting a job after I graduate. I don't know where, I don't know what. It's going to be a personal training, fitness, health related job. Um, but that's where we're at. I, you know, I was, I was struggling with it at first because for so long I told myself, you're going to make this work. You're not going to have to work after, you're not going to have to work for anyone else after Starbucks. It's going to be you and you, like you're going to make this happen. And you know what? I am still going to make it happen. It's still going to happen. It's just taking a little bit longer than I thought. And that's okay because in all honesty, I'm not prepared for it to be full time yet. I need to get system straight. I need to just, I just need some background stuff to happen. And it's, it's okay. Like it's okay. Um, and I'm saying that because I know, you know, for a while there, I was like, your, your past self is going to be so disappointed in, in you. If you get a job, that's not what you wanted. You know, you want to work for yourself. You know, you don't want to ever work for someone else. But the thing is, is like my past self, didn't know who I would be right now. My past self doesn't know what the circumstances are right now. And like that, like me getting a job doesn't mean it's over. Me getting a job just means I'm going to have another, another job, another area where I can excel in and learn and grow. And at some point I will be able to do this full time. And that's the exciting part is I just get to keep working on this. I'm going to have so much more time to work on this since school's going to be over. I'm going to have a full-time job to help support me and to help support maybe some investments I need to make in my businesses. It's going to help me meet new people, make new friends, and learn. So that's where we're at. Um, and like I said, I was, I was kind of struggling with it for a little while. I was being stubborn and a little bit upset with myself, but I have some goals in place and um, timelines and I'm just working every day to make my way there and that's how it goes and you know you're not not everything you plan in life works out and that's what I'm trying to tell myself because I'm such a planner and I don't like to go with the flow but but I am learning to be better. So with that, I'm very excited actually. I really am. I have never had the in-person experience of being a personal trainer and I I want that, you know? I wanna learn, I wanna grow, try new things. Um, so that's what we're doing. We are getting a job <laughs> and graduating college. You know, there's a lot of big things happening and I'm just learning how to Go with the flow, what life brings my way, I will handle when it gets here. And you know, whatever is meant to be meant for me will find me. So now I need to change. Okay, I'm all set. Um, hopefully I can eat after this and it doesn't go all the way till one. And then I have my other phone call at one, but if it does, it's fine. Um, but I'm excited. So I will talk to you guys after. Okay, I literally have like 10 minutes until my next one. And I'm gonna try to make lunch really quick because I'm starving. But what I'm gonna say is that went really well and I feel really good about it. So exciting stuff. Um, I'm switching up my lunch, you guys. I've been, you guys know, I've been on the same lunch kick for so long, um, but I'm switching it up. I'm making a little turkey wrap. Um, with some pickles and some spinach. Let me put you down here for a second. Yeah, we're doing a turkey wrap. Um, just got some oven roasted turkey breast from the store. Gonna toast it up in the pan. Egg whites are great, but I was like getting kind of bored of it. I was like, I'm mm, a little bit sick of eating the same thing every day. So here we are. 
And plus now that I eat meat, <laughs> I feel like I just like jumped right back into that. I was like, I'm gonna start eating meat again. And then I just like, now all I eat is meat. That's not true, but it's, Turkey. Throw spinach. Oops. All over the place today. I also have another call at three with my coach. Um, and it's probably something in between there as well. I'm just, now that I don't have class, I'm like trying to get everything done um, and just get caught up. I feel like I got behind with phone calls and meetings with clients. And now I have time to finally give time to that, so. Oh, and this morning for breakfast, what you guys saw, something I haven't done in a long time. I've been, I made overnight oats this week for breakfast. Um, I was doing cereal for a while with, so when I go to work, I have the egg white bites, um, but I also like to do something else with it because egg white bites don't fill me up very much. <laughs> um, and I was doing this like protein cereal for a while, but wanted to switch it up. So um, made some overnight oats this week and I wish I could say they're delicious. They're pretty good, they're pretty good, but I put a little too much Greek yogurt in it and I used plain Greek yogurt and plain Greek yogurt kind of tastes like sour cream. Um, so I didn't get it sweet enough. I mean, I like it. There's oats, chia seeds, plain Greek yogurt, agave, almond milk, cinnamon, and vanilla in there. Um, I'd probably just use like vanilla Greek yogurt next time instead of the plain, um, but I just added that in for some extra protein. Also, I'm adding some cotton candy grapes to my meal. These things are the bomb. However, I did not realize how expensive they are. Can somebody tell me why they're so expensive? I went to Aldi on Sunday and got two cartons. I was looking at the receipt after and I was like, why did I just pay $8, $8 for one pack? I spent $16 on grapes, you guys. Nobody, first of all, you guys didn't tell me how delicious these were. Maybe that's why you guys didn't tell me they were delicious because they cost so much. I don't know. Nobody told me they were that expensive. Like, yes, I look at the prices when I'm, grocery shopping but usually not of fruit and vegetables like I just grab what's there they're all relatively the same price I don't get it organic because it's not really organic especially here so what's the difference gonna take my vitamins as always you guys know the drill making sure I'm getting those micronutrients in don't want to miss out on that all right there's no way I'm gonna be able to eat all of this before that call, but at least I'll get something in my system because I'm like shaking, <laughs> so hungry. But here is two micronutrients and good health. All right, let's eat. Okay, <laughs> it's a little while later now. Um, not proud of it, but I ate that whole lunch before my phone call. Um, had that phone call, it was, let's just say the first one was awesome. And the second one was, it was, so. <laughs> um, yeah, so then I, I just called my dad to talk to him about it. And now, okay, I know I just ate lunch, but I'm going to eat again. <laughs> Um, I'm going to make my peanut butter sandwich and then get some steps in before my meeting with Sam, my coach. Um, that is at 3.15 and I want to get some steps in. I've been kind of slacking on my daily cardio and I need to kick it back into gear. I got goals, baby, and it just makes me feel good and also it's warm up there. My apartment is freezing, um, so if it could warm up already. I literally turned my heat off in March. It is May, it is May, and it was 40 degrees when I left work today. 40, four zero, May. So that's all I gotta say about that. Um, God dang it. My nails have been really weak lately. I like, oh, I can't be able to get this open. Don't use your teeth as tools, kids. 
or knives. Oh my God, you guys, this is embarrassing. I was trying to open something like this at work today and I just like bent my entire nail backwards. So maybe I need to start taking my hair skin and nail pen pills again. There we go. All right. So we're gonna get some steps in, making peanut butter sandwich first. Um, don't know what time Ethan's gonna be home. He just started a new job, so new routine, which is kind of exciting, but I don't know guys, I'm feeling excited, but I'm feeling nervous and anxious. Um, it's change and change is a little hard for me. I'm working on it, but it's change. It's good change. It's really good change. I'm really excited to see what's out there for me in this world besides little town Wisconsin. Um, but I don't know, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I'm excited to take you guys along on the ride though. Peanut butter sandwiches have been my jam recently. Little pre-cardio snack. One might say. So when I walk on the treadmill up here, I just do like um, assessments and I talk to my people. I answer Instagram DMs, emails, all that fun stuff. But usually do assessments so that I can just get through all of that. And yeah, it's a good time. I usually send back video messages. So this is how my people see me when I'm talking to them about their weekly assessments, but um, I usually do 45 minutes. I don't necessarily have time for that today, and we'll be going to the gym later, but probably gonna get try to get 30 in. Still have to do my own assessment for my coach that I completely forgot about today, so <laughs> I gotta do that before I get on the phone with Sam. Um, so we'll see how, how much I get. I just finished up some cardio, got my assessment in, um now just chugging some water i'm very behind on my water today and <laughs> in my bed it's freaking cold in here um and this is warm but i'm just doing some work quickly before i have my next call um that usually lasts 45 ish minutes um and then yeah um i'm not very hungry obviously I just ate a peanut butter sandwich but um still got a couple snacks still tracking um it's really the gist. Gotta go to the gym when Ethan gets home. We've been going together. We've been going to a new gym. We can just walk there from here, so it's really nice. Um, it's bigger than our old one, and it's been it's been good to switch it up a little bit. So, gonna get some work done, and then I will chat with you guys soon. I'm a horrible, horrible YouTuber. I didn't throw it away before I showed it to you guys. I just had my afternoon snack. Um, this is the protein yogurt from. Aldi, 100 calories, 15 grams of protein, only four grams of sugar. Super yummy, just had it plain today. Um, Ethan should be getting home soon, and then we get to go to the gym. So I've just been finishing up some work, I had my call, and yeah, it's already 4.15, which is crazy. This day is flying by, but that's how all the days are when they're good, so. Hopefully he gets home soon because I really want to go to the gym. <laughs> I've been cherishing my mornings to myself and the fact that they're a little more relaxing now that I'm not working out in the morning. Um, but I just like get this itch. Like I'm like, I need to work out now. Um, I'm like Grace, it doesn't matter what time you work out in the day. It's still going to be like the same. So yeah, I was just um, going through a little thing there. Oh, I guess I didn't tell you guys why I stopped working out in the morning. Okay, story time. <laughs> So as you guys know, I was working out in the mornings and like really early, I was going before work. So I was getting up at 2.45 uh, at the gym at three, working out like three to four, 4.15, all that fun stuff. So it was great, you know, I was fine. Um, and then my body said, listen, you're not paying attention and we're tired, so you're done. And I started getting really nauseous during my workouts. And I think part of it's the re or part of it is a reason. Wow. One of the reasons <laughs> that could be part of it is the fact that I'm not eating before my workouts. 
And honestly, I've never been somebody that has to eat before working out. I've always been a morning workout person, um, like get up right away and go to the gym and never had an issue. But as of lately, my body has been getting like that nauseous feeling when you're like so hungry that you just feel sick to your stomach. Um, yeah, so that was happening to me. And last week I went and I just, I couldn't do it. I did like three sets of deadlifts and I couldn't do it. I thought I was going to throw up. I felt horrible the rest of the day. So I just decided, you know what? This is my body telling me time to take a break from that. Get a little extra sleep because I was not getting enough sleep. Waking up at 2.45, you like, I, I can't go to bed at 7, you guys. I can get into bed at 7, but I cannot be asleep by then. So I was not getting enough sleep and my body finally just told me enough's enough. So, um, you know, every once in a while, pro I, I may work out still in the morning that early. I still love working out in the morning on my day off, um, but going before 5 a.m. is just not ideal. So that's where we're at. And it's been nice going with Ethan, having a partner. So yeah, that's my little story time. Post-workout, not Ethan, he's just faking. I just about died in there, I'm not gonna lie and all of the benches were taken so that's always a good time but all right for dinner i got some cauliflower rice under there chicken stir fried veggies and then i'm adding this sauce it's pretty good good macros only 20 calories for a tablespoon and four sugar look how red my face is still <laughs> If you guys want this recipe, join my Facebook group. I'm telling you, put all the recipes there. And this was really easy. Also guys, since Ethan's having something different than me, I get a complimentary bite. That's how it works. Thank you very much. All right, you guys know the drill. I just showered and now we got greens. Gotta take our greens. Been taking my greens at night recently um, because they help with digestion and when I take them on an empty stomach, like. Um, so my phone died when I was trying to show you guys my greens, but I just took my greens and I've been taking them at night to help with like digest. <laughs> To help digest the food I ate all day. Um, and now I'm just having Cool Whip straight out of the container for dessert. So that is a wrap.